I'm Paige. I am 15 years old and I'm going to be talking about Genesis 6, 1, 7 to 10. So in the beginning of the chapter, it talks about how men and women started to fill the earth and how they started to increase in numbers. But then they started seeking sin because of these strange these like strange beings called Nephilim. God saw this. God saw that they started seeking sin and he totally regretted making them. It grieved him in his heart that they were doing this and it grieved him in his heart that they that he made them. Then he decided to blot them out, or like totally remove them from the land. And he decided he's going to get rid of all man, all animals, all birds, etc. But Noah found favor in God's eyes and God looked upon him with favor. So then God gave Noah very specific instructions on how to build the ark and told him to put two of every animal on the ark. Noah was 500 years old before God told him about the ark and when the flood started he was 600 years old so it didn't take more than 100 years to build the ark. So then Noah and his wife and his sons and their wives got on the ark. So what I learned from this these few verses these chapters is that Noah was a very, very obedient man because God gave him very specific instructions on how to build the ark and what to do with the ark. And while everyone was off doing whatever, going on about their days, this guy is building an ark even though it's not even raining. What I learned about God from these few verses is that he used the flood as a reset on the world to start over, to just kind of start new again. He knew that the reset wouldn't erase sin, but it would get everyone's attention and it would help everyone to see all of the sin around us and get our attention back on God and to focus on him. So now I'm going to pray. Dear God, um, I pray for everyone in this hard time. I pray that everyone is staying safe and everyone is staying healthy. And I pray that we can all just be together soon in the church, just worshiping you and just all being together. I thank you, Lord, that we can have these videos. I pray that we can just learn more about you with these videos and the live streams. So I thank you for those, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for making the flood and just having the flood just as a reset for us. And I just pray, Lord, that you can help us be Lord, more like Noah, just being obedient to you, Lord. And I pray for all of these things in your precious and holy name. Amen.